Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today is going to be an interesting discussion video about 9.2 and healers in general and I've been testing healers in 9.2 quite a lot in Mythic Cruise and in raids and there's a couple of things that I wanted to discuss or basically get your opinions about because I think there's going to be a significant power spike differences between some of the roles in Mythic Plus content. In raiding, it's still looking somewhat similar, but this video is going to be addressing Mythic Plus in a lot of ways. So if you enjoy Mythic Plus, I think this is going to be an interesting video. If you enjoy healer discussions and whether healers should do damage, should healers become support, should healers do more healing, this is the type of video that I'm going to try and create here. And I really am looking forward to your input. And if you enjoy these videos, like and subscribe guys it really helps me out in the channel so let's go and get started with the power spikes and what is happening to healers in 9.2 you know that i do mainly healer content and i talk about healing a lot and honestly i find healing to be one of the most fun and rewarding roles in world of warcraft because as a healer you have multiple different things to do and you have to make split second decisions unlike a dps or a lot of other roles you don't really have a scientific rotation that you need to perform a lot of the times doing something that is going to give you lower HPS might be the right way to go. If someone's about to die who's 10% HP and you opt in to save them and use a single target heal that's fast but inefficient, it's going to be better than using an AoE heal that's going to look better on the HPS meter. So this is a type of decisions that you might have to make and it makes healing really, really interesting. Since the inception of World of Warcraft, especially in Classic and DBC, healing has gone through a lot of different iterations in terms of in the early days, you only had to heal. And now in the modern world of Warcraft, healer in high-end content is required to provide multiple different things. So if you're doing high-end mythic plus or high-end rating, you'll probably want to have as much HPS as you can, but also provide DPS when you have downtime. You also want to use your utility spells at the right times. And all of a sudden, as a healer in World of Warcraft, or at least in modern World of Warcraft, you always have some buttons to press, regardless of the situation, regardless if you need to do healing or not. And a lot of the times if you're doing mythic plus content what separates a good healer from an excellent healer is the knowledge of when you can stop healing and go and provide additional damage when you know people are still about 50 percent hp but you know there's no damage and coming in the next 30 seconds you can go and dps and this is what a lot of the times will separate a good healer from an excellent healer especially in mythic plus content and this can take a while to master at least to know every single boss mechanic or trash mechanic in dungeons. So what's happening in 9.2? In order to look at 9.2, we also have to look at the previous expansions and previous patches. So in terms of rating, I feel healers still provide a lot of HPS. The power spikes, there's multiple different power spikes that are happening in 9.2, and that is to do with tier sets. Every single tier set for healer is going to give you additional HPS. Some tier sets are better than others, but generally speaking, more HPS, more healing, which is great in raid environment because a lot of the bosses do need a lot of healing and a lot of the bosses do have rot type of profiles which again the worm boss here that you can see on the screen is an excellent example of a fight where resto jude can do really well with ticking hots so in raids you're getting extra hps through a tier set you're also getting double legendaries which also feel pretty good especially in raid environment where a lot of healers are gonna opt in for additional healing legendaries so all of a sudden you're getting a decently high spike in terms of hps that you can provide as a healer based on your tier sets, based on the double legendaries. But keep in mind, everyone is also losing out on Domination Gear, and Domination Gear was really potent in Sanctum of Domination, so there is certain power spikes and power losses. Now, when you go to Mythic Plus, the story is completely different, and this is the main reason why I made the video, because in Mythic Plus, the power spikes for healers is somewhat lackluster. So first of all, if you're doing Mythic Plus content or high-end Mythic Plus content in 9.15, you're probably looking at streamers and they're doing high keys and you're like, okay, they're playing Resto Shaman, they're playing Bente Paladin, they're playing Druid or whatever. And the Druid or the healer is usually somewhere close in terms of the DPS of a tank. They're trying to maintain a similar DPS that a tank provides and depending on an affix, a healer's HPS can be really high or somewhat close to what a tank provides. Like for example, if you're playing with a Guardian Druid or Blood Decay, their overall healing is going to be really, really big because their self-sustain is also pretty, pretty nice. So if you're watching these streamers, you're like, okay, healer is providing similar DPS without a tank, depending on which class you play, the healer is providing a good amount of HPS. If you're doing Sanguine Deaths, a healer HPS during bosses is going to be insane because those bosses are one of the hardest healing encounters in the game. And then on top of that, you're looking at Tormented Mythic Plus Affix and you're like, okay, Fire Dude requires a healer to really, really pump HPS. It is a really... To some extent, I kind of like it, but I know a lot of people might find it quite difficult. But in high keys, you really do have to pump HPS for this tormented boss. And then you also notice Varut, who's 
another really tough type of mini boss to encounter in mythic plus because require you to have a certain number of immunities and immunities really 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 make this mini boss a lot easier and again if you look back at prideful you notice prideful was as much of a healer affix as it was for dps but healers were always looked at prideful because if a healer can pump enough hps they can carry the prideful even if the dps did not save their cooldowns depending on which class you play but it gave you a sense of accomplishment if you were able to heal a prideful boss even when the DPS were kind of slacking and all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm doing my job as a healer. So 9.2, a lot of this is going to change because first of all, we have to look at the power spikes and power losses. First of all, a lot of the healers or all the healers who are doing high-end Mythicus content in 9.15 will be running domination sockets. Now, you don't get domination set bonus in Mythic Plus, but you're able to use the gems that provide you additional damage to give you absorbs and things like that. And those domination sockets and the gear are not to be looked away at or just dismissed they do provide a decent amount of damage spike because from all of my testing on ptr with all the healer changes with all the healer nerfs and all all the buffs i've tested every single healer in mythic plus and the item level is scaled to 252 so something very similar to what you might have in live servers i was using tier set bonuses i was using double legendaries and the overall dps for a lot of the healers is somewhat similar to what you're doing on live servers with the exception of resto shaman because resto shaman the double legendary bonuses are just absolutely insane so this got me thinking why is this happening now first of all i mentioned the loss of domination gear in live servers everyone's using domination gear in 9.2 healers are getting tier sets and those tier sets for a lot of the healers provide minimal amount of damage it's not true for every single healer there are tier sets that do provide a significant or a good amount of dps for a healer but Majority of the healers are getting tier sets that are going to boost their HPS only. Now, another thing is double legendaries, and there are certain healers who are really getting a massive benefit from double legendaries. I mentioned Resto Shamans. Resto Shamans is like head and shoulders above everyone else in terms of healer mythic plus damage. They're just really, really strong right now, which makes me question whether Blizzard is going to allow for that to happen or when 9.2 launches. But keep your ear to the ground in terms of Resto Shaman changes and Vesper Totem changes. I am very, very somewhat scared about what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks but the double legendaries for a lot of healers are pretty okay they're pretty decent but i think a lot of people put too much emphasis on double legendaries the double legendary combos for a lot of the healers out there are good are decent but they're not ground breaking they're not going to absolutely annihilate mythic plus in terms of viability in terms of dps in terms of healing i'm not saying again resto shaman is not in this equation resto shaman is the outlier because they're just so, so, so strong in Mythic Plus because of the double legendary choices. But everyone else, they're pretty good. They're not bad at all. They might actually change some of your rotation in terms of the double legendary combos. And it is going to be very interesting to experiment. But keep your expectations somewhat limited in terms of what numbers you're going to see. As an example, from all my testing of healers in Mythic Plus in terms of the DPS that they provide, Resto Shaman was head and shoulders above everyone else. They're probably looking at like, I don't know, 7, 8k maybe plus in terms of the overall dps of a dungeon depending on how you micromanage your earth elemental and whether you run the deep tremor stone and things like that but every other healer was somewhere between 4 and 5k overall dps and miss viewer was probably a little bit well maybe not a little bit but quite a bit below that so 4 to 5k overall dps is somewhat comparable to live servers right now in live servers we have domination gear in ptr on 9.2 servers we don't have domination gear but we have the tier sets and we have the double legendary so the overall power spike of healers in terms of the dps that they provide is not that significant now i do know that there is going to be certain double legendary combinations that will provide just dps like certain healers might be like screw this i'm not gonna run like for example flash concentration as holy priest i'm gonna pick up a legendary that's just gonna give me damage and you're gonna sacrifice a huge amount of hps to get a little bit more of damage that could happen and your dps could rise like Holy Priest secretly is kind of pumping in 9.2 Mythic Plus content, and, but that's for the later video. So it might be like, okay, Mascus, I get it. The healer DPS is not going to be as big as I expected because the domination gear is lost and stuff like that. But the healer HPS with the two set bonus, with the four set bonus is going to go through the roof. All the sudden healers are going to pump HPS and that is a good thing. And you'll be right with this. Healer HPS will be increasing. A lot of the tier set bonuses can be utilized even in Mythic Plus content and they will provide more HPS. But do you actually need that HPS? And this is a question that I'm going to be asking a lot of the people who are watching this video and I really want to know your opinion. But in 9.2, the biggest power spike out of all the roles is tanks. Tank double legendaries and tier set bonuses 
have propelled tanks in another universe. All of a sudden, most of the tanking specs out there that I've seen in 9.2 are doing like 10k overall damage. They also feel tankier because their two set bonuses feel good, their four set bonuses feel good, their double legendaries provide, you know, extra damage, extra self healing, extra survivability, and tanks are really, really feeling the power spike. They're the absolutely kings of this power spike bonuses that you're going to get in 9.2 when it comes to Mythic Plus content. So it's not uncommon to do a Mythic Plus dungeon right now and PT your server and see a Guardian Druid, see a Blue DK, see a Prot Paladin doing 10k overall damage at the end of the dungeon. And then you compare it to other DPS who are probably doing something like 15, 20k. And then there's Frost Mages who are, again, top of the list again. So now healers provide more HPS because of the tier set bonuses, but that HPS might not always be relevant because tanks feel tankier. And especially when combined with the new seasonal affix and Encrypted, there seems to be a lack of power spike because Encrypted, again, let's talk about Encrypted and what it does in terms of Mythic Plus affixes, I think it is a pretty decent affix. It is a Cuscos affix. You do something you don't want, you kill a mob, and then you get a buff. And it's going to be dependent on which mob you selected. For example, one of the most popular options right now, or something that people are testing on PTO services, is Ur. By killing Ur, you're going to get 200% cooldown reduction for 10 seconds, and you're also going to get HP and mana every one second. So after you kill this mob, after you kill the mini boss that it spawns, the mini boss is not too hard, it is relatively easy, and you're gonna get free healing, free mana, and cooldown reduction, which all of a sudden is gonna, again, empower your character. I would argue that the HP bonus that you get means that you do not need a healer for those 10 seconds, because you're getting so much HP for that duration, and every single boss in Mythic Plus Dungeon, at least from what I've tested, will have these mini adds. So now to summarize everything in terms of Mythic Plus, in terms of the power spikes the healers are receiving. Healers are going to be doing more HPS if they have the 4 set bonus equipped. You have to also account that healer damage, or a lot of the healer damage is going to be a little bit weaker because they don't have domination gear. But you also have to account for the double legendary combos, and a lot of the times in Mythic Plus, healers are going to go with double legendary combos, they're going to increase their damage. And then you look at the new Mythic Plus affix encrypted, and you'll notice that it does provide you with HPS, it does provide you with mana, it does give you cooldown reduction, it does give you haste depending on which buff. It does not have a healer check like Tormented did with the Flame Boy or Prideful had with the insane HPS healing that was required to get Prideful in high keys. The new affix encrypted does not feel that bad in terms of healer requirements. Tanks provide more HPS, they're tankier, and all of a sudden you could actually question the viability or the strength of a healer in Mythic Plus content, when you look at the overall DPS meters, the HPS meters, and a lot of the streamers who are doing PTR, you'll notice that a healer is way down at the bottom. Tank is doing like 10k overall DPS, a normal healing spec right now is doing around 4 to 5k DPS, and in terms of HPS, a lot of the tanks, especially if you're playing something like a Prod Paladin who can pretty much off-heal your party, you might actually start asking yourself, what is the reason to bring a healer in Mythic Plus. So this is why I'm making this video because I'm not saying people are gonna be running Mythic Plus without a healer. You absolutely still need a healer because you need the magic, the spell. The fact that healer makes the rune a lot safer is probably one of the main reasons to have a healer, especially in high tyrannical keys where a single fail or certain mechanics require insane amount of HPS. But I do feel that when you compare healer performance in 9.15 to 9.2, I think healer role in general is going to be a lot less impactful. And this is something that makes me a little bit sad. You might ask yourself, hey, healers are getting more HPS, but it's not being utilized in a party because of Mythic Plus Affix, because of how other tanking specs are feeling. You might say to yourself, why not pull or do bigger pulls? And I think that's probably going to happen in the 9.2 season. I think there is going to be some wild and big pulls in Mythic Plus Dungeons, but you also have to ask yourself, there is a lot of classes out there, or DPS classes, who do still have a soft cap in terms of how many mobs they're going to hit, or, you know, their damage abilities are going to fall off after a certain number of mobs, and that still exists. So depending on which DPS class you play, you might actually be punished for doing these massive pulls. For example, a DPS Warrior is a good example of this, and there might be new DPS meta emerging based on which classes can deal with the soft cap better. And uh, we might see, again, the same things like Frost Mage dominating. And that is still relevant in 9.2 PTR. But this video is not about DPS. This video is about healers and the power spike that they're receiving in 9.2. I think that the power spike that they're getting in Mythic Plus is somewhat negative. I don't think it's as big as people expect it to be. 
I think the kings of the power spike when it comes to Mythicus performance are going to be tanks by a large margin because tanks are absolutely pumping right now. If you're a good tank in Mythicus content, you're doing good damage, you're doing good healing, you're doing good sustain, you feel tankier, and the new Mythic Plus affix only allows you to do that better. And the role of healers, uh, bottom of the meters in terms of everything all of a sudden, and I don't want to focus on meters because meters are not going to showcase the true potential or the true value that a healer brings, because for the longest time, Kyrian Rest of Jude was a thing because Kyrian provides you a support role. And I thought that Blizzard was going to go towards Maybe healers should be support type of players who provide others with stat bonuses and things like that. But Blizzard quickly nerfed that. Kirin is still looking like a decent option for druids. But Blizzard definitely does not want the support bonds or support covenants to be that strong. So this question is aimed at everyone who's watching this video. And I know this is a very long video. But what is the meaning of healer? What is the main Thing that a healer should do in mythic plus and raid content but i feel like in the last couple of years in the last couple of expansions and with the new 9.2 patch the healer role in mythic plus is somewhat diminishing because a lot of the classes have a lot of self-healing the new affix does not have a strong healer check one of the things that i'm most looking forward to in 9.2 is trying out my elemental shaman with chain devastation legendary which gives me an ability to spam chain lightning chain heal infinitely and this is going to allow me with the four set bonus to do like, I don't know, 15, 20k damage and provide a good amount of healing. The only thing that I need is someone who can dispel magic, like a priest or a warlock. And all of a sudden, this four DPS, one tank combo could be pretty insane in terms of having a lot of fun and just messing around. And this is just me trying to give you an example of how a healer could be replaced in a lot of the Mythic Plus content. Even in pretty high keys, you don't need to run a healer. And should this be the case? Should Blizzard make content? Should Blizzard make seasonal affixes? Should Blizzard make tier sets that are also aimed at mythic plus content or providing healers with a stronger niche? Because I think healer niche in mythic plus, they're not support because Kirin is getting nerfed. They're not the best DPS or even comparing DPS to a tank anymore. Like tanks are doing double their damage. Even in terms of HPS, you don't need as much HPS because tanks are tankier. The new affix doesn't have a healer check. What is the true role of a healer 9.2 in Mythic Plus content? And guys, let me know if you like this video, if you have any thoughts about this. This is a discussion video and I'll see you in my next guide.